and welcome to my channel. I'm Nigel Gardner and today I'm talking about the harmonic minor scale. So let's jump straight into what exactly that is. We have a natural minor scale, which in the key of A is simply A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And by raising the seventh note by one semitone, we get the harmonic minor scale. Okay, so what I like about this scale is how you tend to use it not like strictly the whole time. Often, especially with more like pop music, you might have it in just over a certain chord. So let's say an example such as California Dreaming by Mamas and Papas. So if we're soloing over that, we're using the natural minor scale for A minor, G and F. Then we're using the harmonic minor for E major because of that G sharp is the third of E major. Let's take a listen to that. Okay, so if you're still with me, let's check out some minor major seven arpeggios. So called because they have a minor third but a major seven. So that's A, C, E, and G sharp. Okay, let's jump into some licks. So here's the first one starting on the fifth note of the scale. Okay, this next one starts on the seventh note, that raised seventh, G sharp. And lastly, this lick starts on C, the minor third of the scale. Okay, lastly, let's just check out the harmonized scale. This is just using root, third and fifth. It just gives you a really good idea of the overall sound of this scale, so let's check it out. Okay, so down on the description below, there's a link to my Patreon where I've put two PDFs. One is of the cage shapes for the harmonic minor scale, which hopefully you'll find pretty useful. The other one is for the minor major seven arpeggio shapes, which is also pretty useful when you're studying this particular scale. All right, guys, thanks. I think that wraps up everything here. So if you found this useful, I'd appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. And I'll see you again for another video. Until next time. Mm -hmm.